This is part three of the rifle warm up. It's the same as part one, but just on the left side. So this is going to be more or less a review rather than having a lot of details. If you need the details of this section, go back to rifle warm up part one and apply those set, that same information to the left side, right? So the first thing we're going to do is the twists. Um, this is going to be the same exact counts. The only difference is you push with your right hand instead of your left this time, all right? So we're going to start in a left flat, which means my neck is in my left hand, palm is up, thumb is wrapped, the tip is in my right hand, thumb is also wrapped. You want the gun to be down by your hips, not your waist, all the way down. You want the bolt to be flat so your right hand's going to be slightly higher than the left. And you want to physically pull the gun apart as you're waiting to start this section, all right? So if you recall, we push on one, tip is down, my right hand goes directly to my thigh, shortest path possible, and I come up to this angle, all right? And then as I pull back, I'm going to catch on three and, keeping everything nice and low. So one, two, and three and. All right, making sure that we're hitting those checkpoints. From here, we're going to repeat this four times. All right, five and six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. All right, and then on count 15 and our last catch, you want your left thumb to be pressed because you're about to go in spins. So you're going to go third, fourth, fifth, and and you really want to squeeze with your with the palm of your hand and your fingertips together since you don't have that extra reinforcements with the thumb being wrapped. All right, so press there. 15 and, we're going to push on six. All right, so you have an and count to get there. And then we just do 16 spins. This is going to feel different because it's our left hand. A lot of us are right hand dominant, so you may have to work on the left side more than the right side. So work on the things that make you feel uncomfortable more than the things that you feel comfortable doing. That way you can get better at it. All right? So the spins, same exact information, you want to just work with the wrist, keep your elbow down, and allow the thumb and the palm of the hand to do the work for you. You have to press that thumb through every single spin, all right? So we're going to push, push, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve, and third, and fourth, and fifth, and sixth. So count out loud and count the, and subdivide, all right? One, and, and, the reason why I go up on the and counts is because my tip is up and my gun is lifting slightly so that I can rotate around the hand that's doing the spinning. All right, one and two and three and four and five and six. I'm just simply guiding it by squeezing on every single grab and allowing the gun to rotate. You don't want to go too fast because it, it can get out of control. Keep the tempo by squeezing. All right, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as you go through the rotations. All right, so we do 16 spins on count 16. You're going to wrap your left thumb. All right, from here we go into flourishes. The first flourish we do is a vertical flourish. So you're going to lift up the tip to your left, strap is up, and then you're going to extend the left arm all the way up, all right? From here, the strap is, is to the right, which it lifts up from count 16. It's going to lift up one and two, all right? So count two is when the tip is all the way up and you have a loose grip on the gun, and then you're going to let it rotate around your forearm. It's very important that you fully extend. If you're bent, your butt's going to get stuck on your bicep, all right? So from here, allow the gun to rotate around. Now, once the gun is finished rotating, allow gravity to pull the gun down, and then you come back to a press, all right? Your thumb is pressed in the back again. We are not wrapped, all right? So it's press. After here, after we twist to where the strap is on the right, allow gravity to fall, and you want to wrap your thumb again. So we wrap the thumb because it loosens up as we go to a vertical flourish, all right? That's one and two and, all right? So one and two and is going to be down. Two and is down, all right? And you're back to your spin spot. So make sure you have a nice L with your arm. So after we finish one and two and, we're going to push down three. Tip is up on three. My arm is on the low 45. Strap is towards me. Three and I keep that rotation low and my strap is still towards me as I rotate the tip down. All right. So we go three and now the tip lifts up on four. All right. So the strap is rotating from left to right as it passes through as it passes through facing forward. All right. So after one and two and, we push down three and four and and then i come back to my spin spot on four and right so two and and four and should be the exact same position right four one and two and three and four is going to be a slight lift and your grip should be uh light right you have to allow some of the fingers to relax so that you can rotate the gun in your toaster right from here we're going to push across our body to the right five right we're going to push across on five and dive over leading with the butt my left leg goes into a force arch five six seven eight same exact thing as i come forward just like on the right side now you repeat that same thing nine ten eleven and twelve and third fourth fifth sixth all right 
From here, we're going to go into the backhand, the transition into spins and stops. So I do a nice palm flip, one and two. All right, if you need to see the details of that, go ahead and go to part one, rifle warm up. All right, one and two, the tip is all the way up, arm is fully extended, strap is to the right, bolt is to the left. All right, from here, I pull down across my body, three, and I'm leading with the strap. Now I'm going to step over my left shoulder with my right foot, four. Now my bolt is to my left, all right? So I'm facing away from the camera, so your bolt should be to your left. From here, I step with the right foot again as I do a flourish over my left shoulder. I'm up on four, five, and six, all right? Count four and six should be the exact same position. I'm taking a step with my right foot both times, all right? And I pull down, seven, hold eight. My right foot goes into a forced arch, and I'm grabbing in between the bolt and the swivel or the clip, all right? Uh, it's a backhand, so my thumb is down, and it's grabbing almost on top of the gun, all right? Depending on how big your hands are, you might not be able to wrap all the way around the top, but at least try to get the tip of the thumb on top. And you want to make sure that your arm is bent and the hand is low in front of your right hip, all right? Seven, eight. From here, we're going to go into backhands. So remember, keep everything nice and low, and you have to keep this four starts to help it easier, to help make sure that it's easier for you to grab the gun, all right? So seven, eight is a squeeze, nine and 10. Try to catch in that same exact spot, 11 and 12. All right, so same thing. If you need to see the details of that, go back to the rifle right warmer part one. From here, we pull down as we rotate to a demi plie, second position demi plie, and we're gonna grab under with our left hand. Now, after you catch the gun on the second one, just keep that momentum going, and you wanna grab under, under, all right? And you're wrapping your left thumb. This is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, this is 13, all right? Now we're gonna grab tip with our right hand, come back to neutral, we're gonna turn over our right shoulder. Um, and two, we're gonna start with the low chenet and go up into a regular chenet. 13, grab 14 as I initiate the turn. 15, 16, I'm back to the front, all right? So for part 2A on the left side, we have the twist, we have the spins, we have the flourishes, we have the backhand, and then we have the transition, all right? So if you need to take some time to go over that stuff, go ahead. Otherwise, we're gonna go through all of those with counts, all right? Five and six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, Three and four, five, six, seven and eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve, third, fourth, fifth and six and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, third, fourth, fifth, six, one, two, three and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve and third, fourth, fifth, six, one, two, three, up four. Five up six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve third fourth fifth six and that turn will travel i'm just trying to stay in the frame for you guys so don't step all over your feet like i just did